Hello, Year 6, or should I say future Year 7. Uh, I just wanted to make a video to say hello to you and introduce myself. My name is Mrs Hunter, and I have three jobs in school. Um, job number one is that I'm Assistant Key Stage 3 Progress Leader. What that means is I help Mr Day and Mrs McGuire in keeping an eye on you, making sure that you're all right, um, making sure you know where you're going. And I will be in a lot of your assemblies, so you'll see me around loads. I'm also an English teacher, so I might be lucky enough to have some of you in one of my classes when you start in September. And finally, I'm also one of the mental health first aiders in school. So what that means is I give out information to support you um, with how you're feeling with day-to-day um, -day business in school. And you can also make appointments and come and see me if you ever experience any issues around your mental health or you're worried about your mental health, okay? So I just wanted to talk to you today about the fact that you're coming to high school, which I know is a pretty big thing actually. Um, and I bet you that on this screen here, you will see four emotions that you probably feel about starting a high school all the time. Some days you might feel super cool about it and feel really ready. Other days you might seem really excited and be so looking forward to coming up here. You might be really worried or you might be really upset. It might be kind of nerve wracking changing from primary to secondary school. Some of you might feel all of those things all at once, and that is totally normal. And what I wanted to talk to you about today is how you can maybe prepare yourself for the nerves and the excitement of starting high school and how you can get yourselves ready, in that, especially in that week before you come. Um, so you're not feeling too overwhelmed, you're not feeling too anxious, and you're not feeling too stressed out about it. Okay, so here are some tips, okay? The biggest thing that I think you need to do is talk to people, especially grown-ups, about how you feel. What you'll notice is everybody's nervous when they come to high school. Everybody's nervous whenever they change a job or any big life thing happens to them. So try to talk to somebody who you trust um, and let them know how you're feeling, even if you're feeling happy and excited or if you're feeling nervous or if you're feeling worried about what happened with your friends or how to get to school or anything like that. Um, talk to them. Be open. Because there's nothing worse than lying in, wor in bed at night worrying worrying about something that hasn't happened yet. And it also might help you to realize that some of your fears might not be that realistic. You might be worried about getting so lost in school that you'll never find your way out. And actually, that's not going to happen. And by talking to people about that, it can help. OK, the next thing is, I know that this will be hard and I know you won't want to do it, but get into a routine before you come to school. Try to get to bed at a reasonable time the few nights before you start, okay? Because that means your body will be ready and you won't feel like a zombie on that first morning when you come in. You'll be sharp and you'll be ready to go. Another thing which I think is quite exciting, it's like trying on a costume, try on your uniform and make sure you know how to tie a tie, make sure your shoes fit, make sure you're comfortable um, and just make sure that you've tried it on and you know how you feel when you're in that uniform, okay? And that you've got all the right bits of it and you've got it all laid out ready to go before you start. A really big one that people I know get nervous about is getting to school. Um, so why not in the summer holidays actually have a dry run of getting to school with your family? So take somebody with you, get on the bus, work out where the bus stops are, work out what time they run at um, and where you'll get off, how far you'll have to walk if you're not getting off in the school grounds. OK, and then get yourself a routine ready so you know how it works. Do it a couple of times if you need to. Same if you're walking, make sure you know where all the crossing points are. If you're going to meet friends, work out where that's going to be. OK. And then finally, I think you need to make sure that you pack your bag the day before you come. OK. And get somebody else to check it for you, because that will mean that that worry of, oh, my God, have I got everything? What, what have I, might have I forgotten on the first day um, won't be there. OK. You'll need money for food for, to put on your card and you'll need pens and pencil cases and things like that and bo a bottle of water maybe and anything else that you've been told to bring um, through the, the like letters that will come home from school. So just make sure that you've got a list of stuff you need and that you go through it all so you're not stressing on the way into school and feeling really worried that you might have forgotten something. Okay. So when you get into school, a few things that you really need to remember. Everybody here is totally happy to help. We, as teachers, are all ready to welcome you here and we're going to be standing out on the corridor showing you where to go. Your teachers will be pointing you in the right direction and students are also really friendly and really helpful. So if you're ever feeling a little bit lost or a little bit nervous, just stop, ask somebody 
and we'll put you in the right direction, okay? All the other new year sevens are going through exactly the same thing as you as well. If you're feeling really nervous and your friend seems really, really confident, I can tell you that they're probably really nervous too. It's just that they're covering up in a different way, okay? So don't worry about it. Talk to your friends. Let them know how you're feeling. Don't be frightened of saying, oh, I'm really nervous about it, okay? And people will help you. When you get here and you meet your form, there'll be all sorts of people from other schools in that form too. Try to help each other out. Try to be like, I'm nervous too. Shall we walk to our next lesson together? Let's see if we can work it out. And some people will know different ways to you and be able to kind of get over certain problems, okay, that you might feel a bit nervous about. Teachers will always look after you. And you know that if you're ever unsure about a rule or about where you're allowed to go or about what time it is or, you know, what lesson you should be in, stop somebody and ask them, okay? Another thing is this, high school is a chance to reinvent yourself and to become somebody more mature, somebody cooler, maybe somebody more confident. It's a chance for you to maybe break away from some bad habits you might have developed in primary school or to really grow as a person. OK, so try to embrace that when you come, try to be ready and try to be excited about the fact that this is a whole new world and a whole new future that you're going to be able to kind of explore. OK, and I'm telling you this after the first two weeks of school, you'll know how this works. OK, you'll know your way around pretty much. You'll know your timetable. You'll have met all your teachers and you'll know where you can go and how to do, you know, get your food and everything like that. OK, so when you do get to school, there are loads of places that you can get help if you are stressed or anxious or worried or nervous about anything. OK, the first port of call will be your form tutor. You'll see them every day, twice a day. OK, and they're a good person for you to talk to and make sure that you um, that know what you're doing, that you've got everything that you need and um, that they can help you contact home if you're worried about stuff. OK. Your year manager, Mrs. McGuire, she's also going to be somebody who you see on a regular basis. And she's someone who you can go to normally um, during lessons if you're worried, if you're not very well, for example. But she's also somebody who can go to at breaks and lunch times if you're struggling with your mental health or if you're feeling anxious or if you just need a bit of support, like you've forgotten your PE kit and you need to ring home and get somebody to come and bring it in. OK. If you are worried about your mental health, there is myself, Mrs. Hunter, and there's also another um, mental health first aider in school called Miss Thomas, who's one of the history teachers. We can uh, be spoken to at any point. If you come and grab us, you'll see us around um, and you can ask to meet us at break or lunchtime and we can have a chat with you if you need any support like that. But any teacher in this school is somebody you can talk to if you're ever struggling. OK, um, we're, we've trained everybody in how to deal with it if somebody comes to them with a mental health issue. And if you have a particular teacher who you really like, or who you've really warmed to, then have a chat with them if you are really struggling. The biggest and most important thing about coming to high school is that you need to talk about how you're feeling, okay? And that is my message to you today. So I'm really excited to meet you. I hope you have a really lovely and really relaxing summer and I will see you soon. Thank you very much.